So tell us, you've been involved with the Congress through your involvement with Magis. Yeah, yeah, I've decided to come down this week to volunteer for Magis Start and promote yeah. the organisation. And how has it been? How have you found it? It's been fantastic, it's great because people are so interested, you know, in finding out about my experience at World Youth Day. So it's been really good. So you went last year with the Magis group? Yeah. And how did you find that? Oh, it was a fantastic experience. I learned so much, not only about my faith, but about myself as well, you know, yeah. and what I'm destined for. Do you know, I definitely have come on leaps and bounds. You know? Can you say a bit more about that, when you feel about your faith and what you're destined for? What? Well, I, like, I left school, I left, I was doing A-levels in school and I was doing art, but I wasn't too sure what, you know, what way I wanted to lead into. And um, I've done a bit of volunteer work with people with special needs and disabilities and I've decided to do therapeutic art. And just this year, it's just been a complete, you know, turnover, like turnover a new leaf. It's just been completely Brilliant. different. Brilliant. So all, all, like everything that happened through Magis, you know, it sort of has something to do with, you know, what will happen in the future. Mm. And do you feel like when you're talking about that different decisions you're making in life, yeah. do you feel that your faith helps you to make some decisions? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah definitely, definitely. Because yeah. you think about what you're, you know, what what God wants you to do, what you're made to do, you know. Some people are made to just pray in silence or some people are meant to, you know, evangelise, you know, depending on their personality and I think God made everyone for a certain purpose and tell us this week uh, here at the Eucharistic Congress yeah. you, you did one of the magic experiments I did which one did you do and um, we visited the travel community oh on Paris. Tuesday yeah, yeah. Oh, Wednesday. yeah Wednesday. Wednesday yeah Wednesday on Wednesday so it, describe it to me because I was I did the one on Monday so just describe yeah. to me what happened on Wednesday it was just really really interesting to find out you know their culture mm. and you know I learned so much from them because they're so dedicated to their faith and really really close to their family mm. And like they pray through Our Lady quite a lot, you know. And they told us that you know they need to get to know Our Lady and pray to Our Lady before they can find God. Okay. You know, they thought you know that's how you get to God is through Mary. And I just thought that was useful, you know, because I never really, when I'm in, in need of you know prayer, I usually just try to pray to pray straight away to God. Mm. But I just you know if they can pray through Mary first and mm. see how that goes, I think it works a bit better. Interesting. So it, yeah. it taught you something about your own. Yeah. Something prayer, about me, yeah. Faith, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the structure of the day did you have like your morning prayer and then you went to the travel? Did you have a mass then later on? Yeah, we had a mass. We, you know, we asked them questions and mm. they told us we got to know each other, you know. And they took, we asked them questions, you know, about their culture and their faith. Mm. And then we went for lunch and we talked, you know, to them over lunch just about their lives and you know Brilliant. their rules and regulations yeah. and <laughs> and um, yeah. then we had a wee mass with them, so we did. Excellent. Mass, oh, yeah. That's great. And you came back here then? We came back here, yeah. 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 Um, that's great. I just so I'll ask the last question around yeah. so the Eucharistic Congress, what it means and one of the difficult questions has been asked I suppose in terms of the legacy of it. Like how can we harness the energy that's here and the you know what future the church might have or what hope you might have in the future of the church, but how can you bring this whatever you're learning or whatever's happening yeah. to you in the Congress back into your daily life or parish life or wherever? It's hard to know, but the youth space has really made people see, you know, that the youth can be involved and it's turning around, you know, it's, it's sort of getting a bit more modern, you know, and it's drawing people. I think the music's really important and I think if we can take the music, you know, like from Malaysia and we yeah. take that home with us and maybe incorporate it into maybe Sunday Mass or maybe Youth Masses, mm. I think that'll draw people, youth right. especially, closer yeah. into yeah. the church. Great. Well, look, thanks and we're delighted to have you involved. Well, I appreciate that, yeah. Thank you.